Because you mentioned direct seeding. How how is that different from the field that we just looked at and the <laughs> seed beds? Well, uh, just look at it. So first off, first thing you see, weeds, old soybeans. Yeah. Um, you got you got small weeds coming through. You see this little weed right here? Earlier, when I when we were in the other field, I was pulling a weed that was about that big. Yeah. It started uh, off as this. Oh wow. So there's another little one. Well, if you see right here is our onion plant. Oh gosh. Okay. Get in the sun here. If you have any in the sun. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. Sun. So here's yeah, our onion look, plant here. Yeah. But look right beside these two these onion plants. These are onion plants. Uh huh. Look one, two, three, four, five weeds right now. Six, seven, eight weeds, uh -huh. nine. So now these are spaced out at a whole lot different. Than, that's correct. Than so what you've got is you got you, the goal is to try to be about every four inches. So here's another one. Here's another one. The planter wasn't as accurate. There's one. There's one. Yeah. There's one. And they're tiny. Yeah. So they're tiny. Yeah. So the risk with direct seeding is you get a cold snap. It could kill the plant. Oh, wow. You get. Hmm. Um, you know, there's so many different things that can hurt the plant. And I'll breathe and here, correct me uh, if I describe this incorrectly. So with the seed beds, we grow in the seed beds, then we hand pull, transplant to a new field and replant in a new field. That's correct. The difference, and correct me, on direct seeding is we plant this seed once and it stays here until we harvest that's in correct. April. -ish. Yep, that's correct. Okay, so it's a whole lot different. Yep. Yeah, then... Uh, yeah, then the other route. Yeah. And so what do you, how do you typically grow each year? Is it typically through seed beds, hand pull, and then transplant? It's 100% transplant. Oh, so this typically. is a, this this is is a, a big new. experiment? This is a, it has been experimented before. Uh, we've actually done it a few times to no success. But this year, with the circumstances like they are, like I was telling you before, but with, with the circumstances like they are. And primarily the hurricane? The hurricane, yep, okay. that's they correct. Uh, I had to try it again um, I'm a little more confident because we've got a machine to help me with the uh, herbicide control yep. but you know direct seeding is just all about timing just like everything yeah. but the the timing has is even more critical so yeah um, it's hard to tell there are even little seeds down yeah there. they're just time yeah I mean right it now. is and it's and it's gonna be like that for another two or three weeks and then finally you know point them out to us where are here's they? one right here Oh, wow. So you have all these weeds and then boom, one onion. Yeah. And you have another onion here. Uh-huh. You, this one died, it looks like. There's another weed coming through. Here's one onion here. Yeah. Here's an onion there wow. and there. So, you know, it's, um, it's definitely, uh, as a one small advantage, although there are risks of a cold front coming through, would you say an advantage is just it doesn't require as much manual labor they yeah. just stay in one spot if so, it were I yeah so works, like for so instance works. jeff is able to plant with just the little machine that we use eight eight acres or so in a day it's him and another guy and another tractor operator and all but that eight acres takes us 50 people yeah to do it um the other way takes 50 people well, yeah. to pull but, but, but to pull and plant the haul to transport haul, everything yeah, haul in the back of a yeah. truck move over mm -hmm. yeah yep wow so and a lot of the bigger green weeds that you see were soybeans that we had planted here yeah uh, that sprouted um we uh or is this entire field that we see over here? Is this all direct all of this, seed? All this is direct seed. What about here. the field to the just right? Just a little bit of that over there. Oh, just a little bit. Okay. Yeah, that Will was that a, be transplant. That we're going to transplant on the other side transplant of that. Transplant on the yeah. other side. Okay, so mm -hmm. that's still waiting for. Yep, that's yeah, right. Maybe another week or so for transplant. And this is direct seed. That's right. Is it worth talking about the contraption on the back? Yeah, we can. I mean. Uh, yeah. Is this a new? Yeah. So this is our new uh, herbicide rig. Is is basically what you can call it. It's uh it's a Swiss made product. Jeff, we got a 
the plastic piece that's there, we got to put on this thing too. Yep. Yep. Uh, in looking at options and ways that we can start trying to do projects like direct seeding, this uh, uh, another farmer and friend of mine mentioned this to me. I, I've tried, I've looked at uh, the Carbon Robotics Laser Weeder. Yeah. Great machine. Uh -huh. uh, uh, I mean, it works. It shoots a laser and kills the plants, yeah. and I love it. Yeah. Uh, the problem is I can't afford it right now. I'm just <laughs> not the, I'm not scaled to the correct size. Yeah. Uh, I probably could afford it if you really looked at everything as far as the uh, the savings of, dif of different things. If you can make the direct seeding work, yeah. uh, but right now I just couldn't do it. Yeah. So this machine, um, we found this machine and. It is, it uses technology similar to the carbon robotics. It's not the same exact technology, but it's very similar, it's AI technology, so it trains itself. But instead of shooting a laser, it shoots uh, herbicide out. So instead of me broadcasting, which is basically spraying the whole field with herbicide, I'll pinpoint spray a uh, two inch by two inch square. Look at so, that. And it, you can actually go faster with this machine than you can the laser weeder because it's not burning the, the weed. Uh, but I still drive it slow just so it has time to kind of process it and take more pictures. But, um, wow. you know, it's, uh, we, we have tested it as far as spraying. It's, pretty, it's really awesome to see how fast it just cool. sprays. Is this your first year using this machine? Yes. Uh -huh. What is it called? It's called uh, Eco Robotics. So that is the name. Okay, yep. I'm sure that yep. was just the domain. Yes. It, well, the actual machine is an uh, ARA. It's a uh, Aura, I think is how they say it. Aura, I guess. But it's a Swiss-made company. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it's pretty neat. I mean, to watch it do what it's doing.